So the first thing you do is you add an HFSS project and you check here in HFSS solution type if the auto open region is enabled. So um, you have to design the cross section of the conductor. So you click here on the circle, draw circle, and you draw the circle anywhere. And then you click on create circle, you change the properties. So the radius you can, here is 0 0.6, but you know, it could be any value. You just change the value to the word radius. And we're going to say this is one millimeter. So the radius of the circle is one millimeter. The center is from, um, you know, on the Y axis, I'm going to put the radius plus separation because we're going to design two conductors. I want to compute or parameterize the separation. Let's put one millimeter. <clears throat> and here you have all parameterized. Um, you can click now on the circle and we're going to use two conductors. So you right click, go to edit, um, duplicate around axis. And see here by default, it's 90 degrees, two. You can use like four, change the angle. What we're going to do is use two, but 180. And you see that um, if you change the radius to two, it will change for both of them, okay? Now you have to draw the length or, you know, the depth of your um, turn. So I'm gonna do this as a straight line. You could do it like an ASP line. I'm gonna click right here in the, on the origin of the coordinate system and um, I'm gonna press the key Z on the keyboard so I can, you know, drag my mouse on Z. And um, I have this line. What I'm going to do is instead of, uh, you know, we have two points, the origin and the second one, what we're going to do is change this value by the variable length. And I'm going to put this two or 20 millimeter. So we have a, you know, three variables, radio separation and length. Uh, what you need to do now is select everything. You can, you know, drag your mouse or select here on the modeler three and right click edit, sweep, along path. And there's an angle of twist. I'm going to put a variable called twist and I'm going to put 360. So you see now that uh, we have this uh, two conductors in their turn. Uh, I'm going to select both of them, right click and change the material from vacuum. I'm going to sign copper. Copper, okay. Okay. And there we go. If you change anything, like on the length, let's put 30 millimeter, it will automatically update your design. The twist, 180, um, it will automatically update your design. What I'm going to do is um, run some parametric analysis. Uh, we already have this, uh, you know, as a default. Uh, but first, we need to assign the excitations. So um, let's write click here anywhere and selection mode you're going to select edges and make sure you select one of this conductor like this conductor first and then this one and you right click assign excitation port circuit port click next finish so now we have this excitation this is the reference and this is the terminal the reference needs to be on the same conductor on the other side so in order to do this um, you know click on this where we have the terminal. So this is the conductor where we have the terminal and then control select the other one and repeat the process. Right click, assign excitations, port, circuit port. Next, finish. Okay, so now you have your project all set. Here on the auto, just change this, uh, yeah, five gigahertz, fine. Um, just uh, make sure everything is okay, click okay. And let's create some parametric animation. If you go here to view animate, you can click OK and select like the twist from uh, 0 to 360 uh, with the 36 steps. So what I want to do is to simulate all of these variations, OK? And to do this, I'm going to right click on optometrics, add parametric add um, not the radius, the twist from zero to 360 with the uh, steps of uh, 10 degrees. And I wanna make sure here in options, I wanna save fields and mesh. Uh, and that's it. If you go to simulation validate, you can run the parametric analysis just by clicking here and going to analyze.
Okay, with the student version, you know, you're limited to so one variation at a time. Um, so it might take a few minutes. Each variation takes just a few seconds. What you can do is, uh, you know, go right click, selection mode, go to objects and right click, plot field, something like H, mag H, plot on surface. Um, you can hide, select everything, press Ctrl H, hide and just get the, the field plots. You can change this right click here, a double click on the scale color, go to scale, change to something like uh, one. And, um, or maybe, I don't know, three or two. And you can animate this. Uh, you can right click on the fields, um, go to animate, and then uh, swept variable twist, and then you can add it. Um, have the animation of the conductor twisting.